after our late night hookup with the Texas Eagle in San Antonio, we awoke to a whole other world. This is West Texas, having nothing in common with East Texas except the state's name. Gone are all the bayous, marshes, rice fields, and oak trees. We're riding through the desert here, somewhere between San Antonio and Del Rio, looking a lot like Mexico's northern deserts. That should be no surprise. All of Texas used to be part of the República Mexicana. Rio Grande, I presume. Right on the border near Del Rio, we see a break in all this dry country. Lake Amistad. Isn't that mean friendship? Yes. I don't think it's too friendly anymore, is it? Yeah, well, it's an act of friendship between the United States and Mexico. Well, look how blue. We're approaching Lake Amistad, a reservoir spanning the border, promoting friendship or Amistad, between the United States and Mexico. We cross the lake on this bridge, parallel to the highway bridge. This is west of Del Rio. We pass through mile after mile of West Texas desert until there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're inside of the train now. It's 370 feet high, 2,700 feet long, Pecos River, hybrid, highest operating in the United States, ranks the third largest in the world, Pecos River, hybrid. If you didn't hear all that, we cross the Pecos River on the highest railroad bridge in the United States. This is the view looking north. Let's see the crossing looking south. This is the Pecos River that we're crossing over now, the highest railroad bridge in the United States, the Pecos River. If you've heard of Judge Roy Bean, the law west of the Pecos, well, this is the Pecos River they're talking about. Somewhere west of here, we arrive at Sanderson, Texas. Check out this station. Just to be clear, this is not the Amtrak station. I'm just intrigued by old ruins. <laughs> Boy, we didn't stop for long. Old corral here. We continued toward El Paso. All these wide open spaces brought us to Alpine, Texas, a small, windy West Texas town. The train picks up a new crew here. And people get to watch the Sunset Limited come and go. Alpine was born in 1882 with the coming of the railroad. It was a good source of water for the steam locomotives of the time. To this day, it's an important stop for the Sunset Limited. Today, it's the gateway to Big Bend National Park. On one trip, we left Alpine to find snow in the desert.
Approaching El Paso, the desert gives way to fields growing cotton and orchards. Now we find ourselves in the outskirts of El Paso. This is El Paso. At this point, we enter the Union Pacific Freight Yards. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could please have your attention. Our next station stop, El Paso, Texas, will be coming up in about seven minutes. If El Paso is your final destination, please check the seats around you, the floor below you. Make sure you have all your items with you. Also, if you brought on any carry-on bags with you, make sure you take those down with you as well. Upon departure from El Paso, you'll be leaving the state of Texas and entering the state of New Mexico. Our next station stop after El Paso will be Deming, New Mexico, hour and 30 minutes away. But for the meantime, folks, El Paso, Texas will be coming up shortly. Please stay within the vicinity of the train and please watch your step as you're stepping off. Thank you. And here we wait until the Eastbound Sunset Limited passes. And what about our arrival in El Paso? Well, we have to wait until part four of the Sunset Limited Westbound. Thanks for watching.